I'm going to rebuild this uh, alternator from my Chevy pickup. First of all, what I do is I mark it here so we can put it back the same way it came. Then I take these three screws off right here. Once I got these three screws off, I uh, just pry this off a little here. These windings have to stay with the back part. That's how it comes apart. Put that aside for now. There's the brushes in there and the bridge rectifier. That all has to be changed. We just take and pry this little piece of plastic off. Like that. Then we have to take a soldering gun and unsolder all these three wires from the rectifier. There. Now I got all these wires unsoldered. Now once we've got these wires loose, we can just kind of pry these uh, windings off and pull it off. There's a piece of plastic behind there that kind of holds everything. There. See here we have the brushes, the rectifier, and the regulator. For this alternator we're going to use this alternator kit which has the two bearings, the brush holder and the brushes, and the rectifier. To take out the rectifier there's one, two, three screws here, and then these two little bolts uh, hold the brush holder in. We also have to take this uh, positive battery screw off because it's connected right through to the rectifier here. And then most of this whole thing comes out like this. There you got it. The whole thing comes out at once. And this is the dielectric grease. And we have to clean that up really nice and uh, re-grease it. Now in order to get the brush holder off the regulator here, It's crimped on here together, so you have to kind of uncrimp it here and pry this up. And it slides off. like that. See this thing just slides off of here and then you get the brush holder off. 
why I'm taking this all apart here is because in this kit there is no regulator and this regulator still worked so I'm going to put it back on now to take this off the regulator it's kind of a, the same thing here it's crimped on but this is also soldered on so you have to heat that up a little bit to loosen that up and this bolt here that goes to the battery post you have to pound this one out to get in order to get it out I put the nut on here so it don't damage the threads. And there, this rectifier is all taken out. And there's the old brush holder. Brushes were still good, but Now to put this back together, put your diodes on the regulator, you just put this together and crimp this. There, crimp it real tight. Then we'll heat this up after a while and dab a little solder on there. Now you do the same thing with the brush holder. You slip this over top of that. Push it all the way down. There and then we'll crimp that really good too over here we clean this uh, this casing out really good first then we'll uh, put this back in there and it fits like so we'll kind of tighten the bolts down really good and then we'll just dab a little solder on these two spots and that'll be good to go once you got your new diodes in here new regulator brushes brush holder you put this little wire in here to hold the brushes in so you can put the rest of it together. Once you're done that, then you put this cover in like this. It kind of fits. You have to put this cover in first before you put the rest in. Kind of fits like that. And it just kind of clips in there. Take an embry cloth and clean this area where the brushes go on so that they make good contact. Otherwise, if it's dirty and stuff, the brushes could spark and arc and uh, not work very good. Just gently, you don't have to do very much. Also clean this end shaft here a little bit so the bearing goes on nicely. Then you take this front part here and you pound this bearing out. But don't just pound it out like this and put it on something and pound it out. Put it on something like this 
and pound it up so you don't break this housing. Then you just pound this out and after you gently pound a new bearing in here and make it flush and you're good to go. You also want to check with your meter, uh, put it on a diode check and uh, make sure that this is all okay in here. You check from here to ground, that's not shorted out. This is good, this is good. You also check these windings here so they're not not shorted out to ground but they have to be connected to each other. That sounds good there. Now we'll put these windings back in here and we have to make sure that these wires just fit in so through this plastic thing here. And once they're in there each one of these have to be soldered back together. There I got these wires in there. Now I'm just going to place them in there and then I'm going to crimp that to those clips there and solder them in. What I'm just going to do here is I'm going to push this in and try and uh, squeeze this so it stays in there a little bit like that. Now I can put some solder on there and solder it. Now we're going to tap the new bearing back in here. Somewhere is about there. Now we can put this all back together here. Just tap this lightly in, it should go. Watch you don't tap too hard on here because You'll bugger up these threads. Have to uh, tap it down here so this bearing is pretty well flush with the housing. There, that's really good right there. Once you put this front part on here, you just got to make sure it's the same position as you took it off. So, because some of them fit different ways on different automobiles. Once you got that done, you can put your these bolts back in. What I like to do is put a little anti-seize on these these bolts because someday you might want to do this again. So you don't forget to pull this wire out here so you release the brushes. 
put your little washer in there then the pan then the pulley and I put a lock washer on there and the nut and that's that the last thing you do here is not to forget to put this little plastic thing in here protects the wires and now put it in the truck and see if it works